Hi guys. I just spent the better part of five minutes having a conversation with y'all only to realize that I had the uh, video on slow motion. Yeah. So anyways, let's catch you up to speed. Now that I've already gone over it once, I know what I want to tell you guys. <laughs> Anyhow, today was a fun day. We went to a gun bash. We go to this gun bash twice a year in the spring and fall, and it is in Murraysville, Pennsylvania. It's a fantastic gun bash. Uh, if you've never gone to a gun bash, like if you don't have them in your area, what it is is you buy a ticket, and there's different guns that they'll give away on there, um, and there's like you get a number on your ticket, and you go and they'll raffle them off. But while you're there, you can buy a strip tickets and win other guns too. Um, you, of course, you know, if you win, you have to go get your background run and all that good stuff so that it's, you know, secure and safe and all that. But uh, <clears throat> we go to this gun bash every year and it's been a couple years since we've won any guns. Two or three years ago, we won three at one time. And then the time after that we won one as well so I feel like we kind of used up all of our luck on that one but today Jeff hit on the sportsman's table which is just you know it's uh, lamps and household things or um, you know sporting good things like gun cleaning kits and fishing rods and stuff like that he didn't want to use it so he said go go get what you want off the sportsman's table so I ran up there and they had a five-piece lodge cast iron set and even though I have tons of cast iron already. I of course had to get that because one can never have enough cast iron. So I scooped up the cast iron set. It had a Dutch oven with a lid. It had the pancake griddle for on your cooktop, which I don't have one of those. So I'm really happy to have one. And then a smaller and a medium size, uh, just a little griddle, which I have both sizes. However, I can never have too many of the same thing. So when it comes to cast iron, I mean, you can't have too many pieces of cast iron and it lasts forever. Those are heirloom things. You know, you pass those down to your kids and they can pass them on to their kids and it's just a beautiful thing. So, and that's what I got today. I'm really excited about that. Uh, I have some things I need to do this evening. I'm going to hop on the skid steer here. I need to dump my burn barrel and then I'm going to take this stuff that I cleaned out of the garden, um, along here, right in here. Uh, I want to take that and throw it onto the manure pile to compost down. And then I got to take the barn, barn garbage and burn that. So I'll take you guys along while we do that. Um, I don't, it's chilly today. I don't have a whole lot to catch up with you guys on because I don't want to do anything outside. I'm so used to the 70 degree weather we had last week and now it's like 40 and I'm freezing. So anyways, let me get the skid steer going and we will go do the chores that we need to do. Okay, guys, you're with me in the driver's seat here. The tripod's a little wonky, but away we go. <laughs> There's got to be a better tripod for this. We're living dangerously. <laughs> The skid steer drifts, so I can't get out of it while it's on or else it will just drift away. I needed my grass mode today. So these guys did it. Huh? Did you mow my grass? Did you mow my grass? Hi, Lily. Oh, thank you. You did a nice job. Jeff heard me on the skid steer and came and got it. So I didn't have to do it because I have other things to do, which was nice and very much appreciated. 
Are you doing all your water now? Okay. Well, I'm not going to use the quad for that then, so I guess I'll take the wheelbarrow up. Caleb's doing his barn water while he's out here. You trying to be a superhero doing it in shorts? Huh? It's cold. All right. I'm going to dump this wheelbarrow, and then I'm going to go up and get the brush. Put on the manure pile. So, I'll be right back. When I came out, when I came, no, I said when I came out, I had it on slow motion. And just let her be. Yeah. Oh, yeah, all kinds of good stuff. Go. We back up, Chase. Back up the hill. Up this way. The whole way. Go the whole way. Uh, it's the same food they always had.
All right, guys, so I'm about to sign off for the night, but I thought I would hop on here real quick and show you my new cast iron because I'm so, so happy about it. So here are the two skillets that I got. Um, I'm trying to see if it says which size they are. I think this one's about a 12 inch and this one's probably a six inch, I'm guesstimating. So these come pre-seasoned which is really, really nice. Uh, one of these days, if you guys want, I will go over and make a cast iron seasoning video because that's a handy thing to know how to do. These are already pre-seasoned, so I won't have to worry about it right away. But if I find they start to get a little bit sticky, I'll go ahead and season them regardless. Uh, this is the one I'm most excited about. This is just like this great little skillet, and this is gonna be great for making tortillas, pancakes, eggs, just about, anything french toast i'm really excited about this griddle and then the dutch oven and you can never go wrong with the dutch oven you can make just so many things with it one of these days i do want to get one of the dutch ovens that have the concaved lid because that way you could cook on an open fire you could still very well use this dutch oven on an open fire if you needed to but the ones that have the uh, concaved lids are really great because you can put the ashes and like the cinders right up on top uh, dutch ovens are great for a multitude of things you can make stews in them you can make bread in them you can bake in them actually if you needed to bake a cake and you didn't have an oven situation and you could build a fire outside you can actually um, move your coals in such a way that this will actually bake whatever's inside of it. So they're just a wonderful tool to have. I covet my cast iron so much. Um, but yeah, so those are what we got today, and I'm really happy to have all of these. And I also want to give an honorable mention to my lovely neighbor who ran me up one of these um, cotton bread bags. So it's a reusable bread bag, and I just think this is a great idea. I know they make the ones that are like beeswax but this one is cotton it's all organic cotton uh, so I can't wait to use this and see you know what a difference it makes with the bread you know usually bread doesn't last very long around here unless I make a whole whole lot of it but this is a nice big bag so usually I put mine in the gallon Ziploc baggies and this is just gonna hold so much more so I love this and it's washing machine safe and biodegradable. So this is really, really great. So thank you, Patty, so much. I really appreciate this and I can't wait to use it. I have to go get some flour because I'm out. I guess that's going to do it for tonight's video. I'm enjoying my pumpkin butter iced latte with goat's milk, which is absolutely delicious. I am probably going to get off of here and turn on a new video for tomorrow. I'm going to make some mead. And I thought I would bring you guys along for that. So I'm going to sign off for tonight and then start another video, which you guys will see tomorrow. So I hope you have a great day and we will see you in the next video. Bye.